Hello. Today I would like to teach you how to find the molar mass of ammonium chloride. It's actually a very simple process. I have a nice little tip to help us out. Take a look. Bam. So the first step is we're going to write down the elements we see. So we got nitrogen, hydrogen, and we got chlorine. Then we're going to write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So if you don't see a subscript at the bottom of the element, just simply write in a one. So we've got one nitrogen, we've got four hydrogens, and we've got one chlorine. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each element, and that's where the periodic table comes into play. So take a look. Hydrogen's mass is 1.01, .01, nitrogen is 14.01, .01, and chlorine is 35.45. So this is going to be 14.01 .01 for nitrogen, 1.01 .01 for hydrogen, and then chlorine was 35.45. And then we're going to find the total mass of each element in the compound here by simply multiplying the row on a cross. So the total mass of the nitrogen is 14.01, .01, total mass of the hydrogen is going to be 4.04, .04, total mass of the chlorine then is going to be 35.45. And then the total mass of the entire compound, just simply add this column on up. So that's going to be 53, 53.50. And the units are in grams per mole because we're finding molar mass. So all there is to it. Now you know how to find the molar mass of ammonium chloride. Thanks so very much for tuning in. We got thousands of videos out there just to help you through your class. So please check out our channel. We love to help you with more. Take care.